Hello, welcome to uh, Oracle tutorial. So we were discussing in our last video on indexes. So this is a concluding part of uh, that video or part two of that video. So we were discussing how to we discuss the concepts of index and and uh, and we were discussing how the index uh, can be stored. Where e if we store, um, so for example, this is a First, this is a column name, and then this is physical. This is the location. So, or column value. So, for example, if the value is one, this is the address, and every time you insert a record, your index also gets updated. So, it, if you have another row which has ID ten, and it has address three or address seven, uh, it will store records. So now, so that's sort of the basic concept of index. And um, now, the for a syntax wise, how you create index? You create using like this: create index, and then you put a index name, and then you put the column, the table name, and the uh, column name. Now, if you remember, we have uh, a primary key created on ID on employee table so when you do that by default the 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 oracle already creates an index so just to repeat if, when you define some when you define a primary key for a table so for example if we since you have defined this you would see that uh, if you go to indexes as you see Oracle has already created an index, an unique index, uh, because this is a primary key. So if you define some, a column as a primary key, Oracle by default would create an unique index. Now on top of that, we created an index on department ID. So if you, here if you see, I have created this index called department ID. So if you fire this command, you get an index like this. And it has a, if you don't specify anything, it gets a non-unique index and rest all are pretty default values. And it has got a IDX name as department ID. So if you see the difference here, sys, this means Oracle internally has created this. Whereas this one is created by us and that's why it has a little bit friendlier name. Um, so after that, if you, if you, uh, if you do a select, so if you do a select star from EMP where department ID equal to one, it will use this index. It goes to this index. So the key thing is that you have to con you have to use the condition department ID equal to one uh, or department ID equal to something to make use of the index. If you call, if you use, let's say use, uh, you know, if you use ID equal to one, for example, then this IDX department ID index would not be used. To make this use, you have to do a, if you have to do your wire clause based on the column name which you created the index for. So there are much more, um, you know, uh, rules and base um, and conditions of indexes uh, which we'll cover later but for the time being just remember you, the the concept of index why we create index and what are the different types of index so for example primary key if you define you oracle gets a unique index then you create a non unique index which is regular index um, and 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 one of the things is the mostly you create index for the you know uh, for the number columns or number data types but sometimes you can create also index for let's say uh, Know, names uh, uh, and then there are uh, certain ways of using index also so for example if you add uh, if you say ID plus one greater than two just for the sake of uh, writing a query if you do this if you add something to ID then index doesn't get used so there are some rules and uh, best practices and do's and don'ts around indexes which we'll cover later but we probably got already the basic concepts of index uh, 
so then uh, so let's move on to the next topic uh, which is our let's see which are procedures now what are procedures procedures you can think it is a um, it is a stored program body for uh, so that you can use you can just run better efficiently so for example uh, let's say any other language where let's say C language Java language you write programs and program does complicated tasks uh, meaning so in 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 Oracle you can create stored procedure which can also you can put processing logic you can do some query from table one and then store the data in something and then use that data to do something else so it's some sort of you know similar sort of uh, thing what you can do you know writing C program or something uh, you can use you can use the same paradigm of programming and apply it uh, in the stored procedure to fulfill your needs so for example um, here I have uh, created a simple procedure and again in the real life uh, the com procedures do a lot more complex stuff but here I have a procedure for is my get EMP name so get EMP name procedure does what if you give it a employee ID it will give out the employee name so it's a very simple procedure but um, in in real life you know procedure does a lot more uh, complex thing uh, so probably it has loops it has uh, different conditional statements um, similar thing which you do using a big program so so let's look at the syntax of uh, procedure again we have a replace command so it means if it exists it will drop it um, we have an in and out now if we in meaning the input parameters you give and output mean out mean the output parameters which you get from here and if you don't mention in by default that means it is in meaning you are supplying it as the input parameter and uh, the typical um, the typical template of program is uh, you have uh, a declare section where you have uh, variable defined so let's say you know since we didn't need to do any variable here but let's say you can so test variable and you can define virtual two forty and then um, here you can put uh, you can use this variable test var and then you can so what we have done is that we have uh, stored the we have defined a variable we fetch the employee name so here I'm just doing concatenation of first name and last name into the test variable uh, using what I'm getting passed which is the MPID and then I'm assigning the out variable to the test variable so this is a simple PLSQL program in this meaning it's an assignment operator so if you compile it okay so it says anonymous block complicated mean it succeeded now to run it uh, I'll use a different tool it's called uh, toad so here I have this is the way I am going to run the program so so here you see I have uh, to as you remember if you remember the procedure I have to pass a variable input parameter and I have to get an output parameter so here again this is some sort of a, again a small PLSQL program block to run a procedure um, so here I've defined a variable b and then I have this dbms output dot put line it's something like a print for um, uh, Oracle you can think so I'm printing a simple debugging command calling SP meaning calling stored procedure then I call the procedure get EMP name with one as the first parameter input and B is the output parameter and then I print the value of B so if you run it Okay, looks like we have some error here. So it says get EMP name is invalid. So probably we have to compile it again and see where we get the error. So 
So let's run it again. Get EMP name. So let me clear this. Okay, so looks like it went fine. Let's try to then call it, call the procedure again. Okay, so now we have uh, compiled the procedure and we are running it now. So as you see here, uh, we have, and now we're going to click on it and run it. And hopefully uh, the output would show. So here, here this is the output, as you see, calling SP, it's that list line. And then val equal to David Smith. So it means it is basically printing out the value for the M, uh, B, which is the employee I1, which is correct. So now let's go back to the stored procedure again and see um, 